Peapod's Behind the Scenes New Direction. What is this new direction? Well, I'm changing the way I do the videos a little bit, trying to make them a little more like a show. Uh, there will be more of me popping in and out of the videos in the drawing process. But on with the drawing. This panel uh, three here, I loved. I loved how I drew it and where I was going to go with it. Um, but you're going to see that I lose it. So stay tuned after the first break from myself here and uh, find out what happens. This is behind the scenes, behind the scenes. You're actually seeing me behind the scene of the computer where I work. I've got a lot of different ideas for the Peapods in my head and I want to show you some of these things and where I'm going to be heading with these as I do this. Um, the series of videos is going to continue to morph. You'll notice that at the beginning of the thing it used to say Tales of the Peapods with a little logo and I've just taken that out because this is kind of a making of all the Peapod stuff. And when I say all that you're going, well you've got the book and the webcomic. All right, let's explain the webcomic. The webcomic takes place between books three and four. All right, I know books three and four haven't come out, so the webcomic is gonna give you some hints. Some of the things that you see and have read already are things that are going to appear in book three, and it's leading into book four. It's all kind of a crazy, weird thing that I'm doing. Um, I think you'll all really enjoy it when we reach the end of this. Um, but other thoughts. As I'm writing these things, I get these other ideas. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to show you some of those ideas. And here they are, the notes. These are the four ideas that I have for the Peapods. Legends came to me because I, I wondered what was happening. Where did Portimus get the gloves and the shield? And I think about doing this as kind of a more of a prose, just written story. With a lot less pictures. Of course, tells of the Peapods. Um, that's the webcomic, World of the Peapods is the uh, books, and Peapod Adventure basically is just something I want to do because I liked a logo that I put up in a contest a while back, and everybody decided that wasn't the right uh, look for the story. So I came up with Trip and Brutus in a way that would make them fit that logo. And I pitched the idea to my son who wants to help me with the storyline thought he could draw just a one square comic and we would publish it once a week. So here's the first 11 weeks comic strips that could be done. Continuing the drawing process on this, it, it just came to me that the, the lift of them on the geyser could not be portrayed in just two panels. Uh, I see it much more as an animator and it needed at least three panels for you to get the idea that they were being pushed up. Um, and as an illustrator, an animator, you just you have times that you realize you have to lose something to make the story work better. Um, and I, I think it actually works this way better. Uh, when you see uh, Strip 22, it just makes sense that I lost that panel three that I really enjoyed drawing. Um, and overall, I feel like that this strip turned out very good. I like the color use. I like the idea of them being lifted up here and it, you feel like it's actually happening. Um, make sure to stay tuned after uh, I talk here again for the ending of this video. Uh, it's 3.6 seconds but it took me two hours to illustrate it so um, stick around and enjoy. The other thing that I want to do is to take this video series and to push it even further. To develop it into something in my mind that is like a mesh between Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and Big Bang Theory. Something that parents can use uh, to let their children watch uh, that will help them develop anything from art style to the way they write. Um, a lot of this stuff, yeah, you could go out and just Google it yourself, but I want to make this more interactive. Uh, the videos, you know, will be up on YouTube. People can uh, ask certain questions. I can go out there and look it up and then make videos based off of this. And the whole time, it does something else for me. It helps me stay accountable to the art chores and the writing chores and getting this stuff done. Um, so these, these are the things that I'm looking at doing uh, with the Peapods. Uh, I got four different little stories based off of the one thing that I want to tell. And, um, and then of course, these videos. So keep tuning in. That's T O O N I N G. All right, that's just me being punny. Um, and I will see y'all later. Thanks.